Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another WooCommerce tutorial. Today, I will show you how you can customize our product page like this. For this website, I'm using the Elementor Pro version. So, using the Elementor Pro, we can customize our single product page completely and also for this special kind of product gallery i used another extra plugin jet product gallery jet product gallery is a plugin of croco blocks now before moving forward let's see what's the croco block and what's this jet product gallery plugin croco blocks is an advanced set of jet plugins which will work for elementors and gutenberg if i see their product list here we'll find sets of plugins so they divided their large plugin into some smaller plugins so your site will not be overloaded for example if you need a booking website that case you can install the jet bookings and for designing purpose you can install some more plugins from here but you need not to install all this plugin that case and your site will not be overloaded and from here if i check their pricing they have four type of pricing list one is for free and you will get some feature for free and for all this advanced widget here is three packages you can select any one if you have one website then you can purchase their all-inclusive plan so this will be 130 per year and if you have unlimited website then you can purchase the another one and also they have their lifetime package so if you work for many clients and if you work for different kind of website that case the lifetime packages will be a great investment for you for example if you work for at least 10 clients in your lifetime so that case you will invest less than hundred dollar per website but of course, if you are a developer, you will not work only for 10 clients or 10 websites. You will work 100 plus website, 1000 plus website, and you will charge several thousand for this website. And using this plugin with Elementor, we can create any kind of advanced website. For that, you can easily charge 1000 bucks. And finally, if you think you still did not all these widgets or all these plugin, you only need to install one plugin or several plugin. That case you can purchase as a single item. For example, if I go to the Jet Engines, you can purchase the Jet Engine plugin only for $26. That's cool. Now for this tutorial, I'm only going to install the Jet Product Gallery plugin and this is very reasonable price only for $15 here I don't need all others jet plugin as I'm already using Elementor Pro version now let's go ahead and without any further ado let's get started and by the way so far you see if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel when I go for any single product page, like from the shop page, when I click on any single item, we can see this is the default design page for any single product page. For this website, I'm using Astra theme, and here, this is the default design for WooCommerce single product page. Now, I'm going to customize it. So this side is already using Elementor Pro version. So now when I go to the dashboard and from here going to templates and theme builder and from here going to add new, here is single product. Click on this plus icon. Here we can design our product page from scratch or we can use a pre-made layout. Here we will find four template. For example, here I'm going to insert this one and now here we can see all the widgets as a different widget and we can customize all of the item differently so for the first one here if i click this is coming from woocommerce breadcrumbs we can customize all this text style for example here is the link color we can change the color to black and also the typography we can set the default font which i am using for others pages and then if i click 
here this is product title these are also dynamic I'm also going to customize the font style and then here is the product ratings this is also dynamic I'm going to change all the font style then here is the short description this is coming from our product shop description and then here is the product price and this is the sale price we can customize all this widget or we can move all this widget placement as we want then here is add to cart button and here is the item quantity and also if I check this is product data tabs here is the long description and also here is showing the product reviews and finally in the bottom area here is showing the related products so it's showing the same category products for this single product page and also in the right side this is the product image and this is also dynamic but here if I go to the edit column and going to style tab this image is coming as background image and we can see this is as dynamic so now first I'm going to customize all the font style for this page alright I'm done and now going to publish at condition products so by default it will work for all product page and now going to save and close and now if I refresh our product page we can see our page design is updated now I'm going to add more customization for the product image this is now showing as single image and it's coming from our product featured image now instead of this single image I'm going to create some advanced product gallery and this will be fully dynamic so for that I'm going to use the jet product gallery plugin I have already downloaded and installed this plugin and now if I go to our dashboard we can see here is the Croco box installed we don't need to do anything from here just go to back our theme builder and again going to single product page going to edit and here instead of this column I'm going to create a new column and also going to delete this column now here if I click on the plus icon and here if I search for gallery we will find some new widgets gallery anchor navigation gallery grid gallery modern gallery slider these all are coming from these jet product gallery plugins first I'm taking the gallery slider and here we have to select the source we can select manual image or we can upload WooCommerce products so this is the default gallery and this is normal carousel we can customize it if I go to images we can select the image size from here and also from the slider we can make it horizontal or vertical and navigation we can make it off pagination by default it's showing as dot instead of this when I click on the thumbs we can see all others images which is coming from our product gallery and here we can also customize all this here is visible item count 4 we can make it to 5 so now here it's showing 5 item I'm going back to 4 and you can play with all these options so we can customize it as you want then here is a cool options video so if you have any specific video for your products or if you upload it as gallery video we can also add that video item to our list and here we can also move the video to the first place and also here we will find some more options for video settings from slider if I go to select the direction to vertical so you can see now the design is looking different alright next I'm going to check the another gallery going ahead then going for the gallery anchor navigation and selecting the source for WooCommerce product for this design you can see all the images showing in the same height and width in a line and you can see the pagination in the left side this is also customizable and then going for the another gallery checking another one going to delete these two and going to select this one gallery grid source WooCommerce products 
and you can see all the product is showing as grid. If I go for images, here is by default showing column 4. We can set it to 2 column and image size we can make it to full. So now it's looking good. And we can also increase the width for this column. If I hide the panel, so it's looking like this. Alright, and finally I'm going for another gallery. And taking this one, Gallery Modern, Source WooCommerce Products. And here it's showing in a different way. Personally, I like this structure very much. This is modern and unique. We can also customize the width of these images. If I go to image, image size, I am selecting full. Here is also the video option. So we can also add any videos instead of the featured image or any image. And also if I go to style tab and from here we can change the image proportion. For the first one it is showing that 30% and the second one is 70. So we can change it to 40 and this can be 60 or 65 and this is 35 yeah so this is fully customizable we can also customize all the image position alignment and you can check all the options from here or you can set the image proportion the first one 45 and the second one 65 so the first proportion will work for the first line and the second proportion will work for the second line and finally going to save our page now when i go for the product page and refresh you can see the new design is showing and here we can also move image position to left and text to right so checking this one and saving it all right i am done for now by the way if you like to see the complete WooCommerce tutorial for example this is a another complete website I have a complete tutorial how I create the complete e-commerce website using Elementor and Elementor Pro version so I will also leave that complete tutorial link in my description you can check it from there if you find my tutorial helpful give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.